So to your latter point in terms of digital rights, I think we should not distinguish that there's a set of rights that are just digital and a set of rights that are um, for, for humans that aren't online. I think human rights are universal uh, and they apply to everyone. And so I think it's making sure that people understand the offline, online there should be no difference. Freedom of association online and offline should be the same. Um, but I think it just to connect people as to why these rights were put in. They were put in after great conflict, the timing of the IGF, especially after uh, the 11th of November, uh, the armistice after the First World War. There was a great suffering and it was values that brought people together so history would not repeat itself. And I think the challenge that we have now is that there's a loss of history as to why some of those values are there. So it's very important to make the point that we have these in place to actually make sure that um, you know, some of the, the type of behaviors, some type of the um, um, communications issues that caused the First and Second World War, war and, and other wars since then don't repeat themselves as well too. So I think it's not just what rights are there, but it's that the public be educated to realize that if we're not careful with what we say online, we can lead to the same consequences as not only World War I and World War II, but genocides like the case in Rwanda.